Okay, we're looking at inequalities, and this is uh, pretty much similar to what you've done before at GCSE, especially uh, the first bit, which is this. Okay, now the fact that there's two um, two inequality signs makes absolutely no difference. We're going to be getting this to x. So first of all, we need to add 1 to both sides, okay, which is going to give me that. Um, and then we're going to divide by 3. Now, 6 divided by 3 is 2. Now, minus 2 divided by 3, I would just leave as minus 2 thirds. Okay, so it's exactly the same. The fact that there are two inequality signs is kind of irrelevant, really. Um, you just solve it as you would normally. Okay, change of colour. Now, this is the different bit, really. Okay, so I'm doing um, A minus B here. Okay, and what I need to do is I'm going to do that, the top of A minus the bottom of B, okay, which is going to give me uh, the biggest amount, one, okay, and then A minus B. And I'm also then going to do, I'll just change colour quickly, I'll do it in green, okay, the um, bottom minus the top, as it were. All right, so that's going to give me a negative eight. Actually, I should leave that in green, really, shouldn't I? Negative 8. And that's the widest it could possibly be, all right? So there you go. And, it, and if it was B minus A, you'd do uh, the, the top of B minus the bottom. Of it, and it just works the other way around. Okay, so there you go. Now, don't fall into the trap on the third one, I'm going to leave it as green, of just going, well, just square root both sides, it's not a problem. This is a graph. All right, which looks something like this if this is the x-axis and it looks something like this. And all that means is where is, okay, this lower than 4? Now, 4 is there somewhere. It's between this point and this point. Okay, and those two points, and you do square root, but remember when you do square root, you could get plus or minus 2. And so you should have that. And it's going to be the same sort of thing on the last one. Okay, where we're going to factorise as we would do normally. Again, this is a graph, um, but I will draw the graph in a minute. So uh, y minus 5, y plus 2, greater than or equal to 0. Okay, and so this is a graph. Oh, why did I put, I said 2 and I wrote 5. Jeepers, right, plus 2, where is it? I think I'm still in yellow yet. Okay, plus two, sorry about that. So what we've got here is a graph that looks something like this. Okay, where this is five here and this is negative two. Now what that's saying is where is it bigger than zero? So where is it above the x-axis? And that is, and I haven't got many colors left, uh, I will do it here, that's this bit and this bit. Okay, right, and that obviously carries on forever carries on forever up there. And so therefore, when I write my answer, I want y is less than or equal to negative two, and y is greater than or equal to five. And I use equal to because it's equal to there. Like on this one, I use just less thans, all right? Because it was just less than there. Okay, are we happy with that? And I should have also added that this um, here, oops, where are we? There, so I was looking at this bit here, wasn't I? Okay, that's below four on the, so there's four. All right, happy with that? Um, yeah, so if you think of it as graphs, okay, it becomes a little bit easier to picture actually.